you talk about how this sort of came together? This is the first time we've done this, right? Yeah, this is the first time I've done it anywhere. Um, being involved in the community and raising funds and giving back to the community, helping people. And he did backpack giveaways and bowling for backpacks, and it was always really cool. And then also the other element of it is maybe you have uh, an eye doctor there or a dental is what he did. We're, we're doing, we've got some uh, nails being done. We've got a, a barber up there and, and different things that kids can get, you know. And so I think those are all positive things, and that's where it came from. And I was worried when I thought of it, like, Hey, Charlene, let's do this. You know, it was like April or May. I didn't know if we could pull it off because school starts so early here. You know, so it, it worked out great. Uh, we're at a great location, uh, a great facility, and then you can feel the energy. I mean, the line was out the door, and, and uh, it's been buzzing all morning. And I think we can have an impact on people. You know. Yeah, the haircuts and the nails is kind of an interesting new concept. I haven't seen it one of these before, so that's kind of a cool <coughs> element, huh? It's di it's a little different, but I think. I've always said this about whatever I get involved in. When you when you see the look on their kid's face, their shoulders go back, their head goes up a little bit, and they, they, they're feeling positive things around them and things being said to them. They It's, it's, it's a cool moment. And uh, when they're standing there picking out the colors for which backpack they're going to get or standing in line, they're excited. It's a, it's a cool deal. And so um, talk about the basketball angle of this. So there's a clinic portion to this as well, right? Or you Not really. No, we, we, what we, no, it was just a, it was an opportunity just to have activities rather than people just roll in, grab a backpack, and you know what I mean? We want to spend time, look some kids in the eye, have some, have some fun. We have a tremendous group of volunteers that have a lot of juice to them, and the kids are having fun. Uh, and so they're sticking around for a little while, which is really cool. And then, you know, we get, everybody gets a, a, a pizza, a free pizza certificate, and I, I think it's really beneficial, and kids are having fun. Giving something as simple as a backpack to a kid in a certain situation, I mean, how, how much can that help, do you think? Just, I think just the, I think just the confidence on the first day of school that, you know what, we're all equal. And all we hear all day long in the media and, and outside is we're not all equal. You know what I mean? And, and hopefully that just makes a child feel like, Hey, I, I got the same chance to start out with, and now it's our job and theirs too, day in, day out, week in, week out, to keep supporting them, not just with things, but support of motivation and, and uh, you know, getting them there all the time and, and uh, just support them. That was really poorly quoted. Don't use that one. Um, <laughs> so it Couldn't like find my like, word. It sounds like this is something that you're planning on doing. Yeah. Uh, repeat over and over. Yeah, and that's, that's where we push to get it done in a hurry. Because anytime you do the first one, you know, it's like, well, you learn from it. And this, this was a home run um, from everything we've, we've heard from people that have come today. Uh, and, it, and then as you have more time to set up the next one, maybe you do more, more areas. Maybe, you know what I mean? It just gets bigger and it gets better and you, you influence uh, more places. Is there a specific feeling that you feel when you do stuff like this? Yeah, it's, it's really, I mean, my parents uh, were teachers and... I just think it's a, it's an unbelievable profession because they gave and gave and gave as all teachers do, uh, and so that's that's part of me is what you get out of it is the look of satisfaction or the look of accomplishment when they do something that you've been encouraging or trying to give an opportunity for someone to achieve. So uh, that's that's what hits me the most. Are you excited for uh, training camp? It's less than a month away, right? Yeah, it's crazy because the offseason keeps getting shorter, you know, as we're trying to stretch out the season for days of rest and, you know, people not getting those off. Uh, we start sooner, but then uh, this is probably the shortest, I think, training camp has ever been, right? You know, because we started on October 17th, I think it was the first game. It is not what we needed. We needed, like, a six-week training camp, you know, with a whole bunch of new faces and, and, and young, inexperienced guys. Um, so it's gonna just it's just gonna be uh, day in day out and, and bringing energy every day to the gym and guys just getting better and I think you know, like any of you guys have heard me say this a hundred times that if we just go out there and just give minutes away and there's no competitiveness and people don't improve as much as they can you go out and we try to compete and try to win the guys got to earn their minutes they earn their roles and competition you know breeds success. What day are your guys supposed to be? They were all supposed to be here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you, you know, what's media day? Is Monday the 26th? They will get in Sunday night because, and we were talking about it. Like, 
you have you start at this point of the year you start counting your weekends because it's you know, the last ones you never sometimes you get one day off every two weeks sometimes one a week where you get a day off uh, you never get two days off in a row so these guys are holding on to them like <laughs> has there been anyone in particular that, that, that has surprised you as far as a player have you been keeping up with you know status of your player yeah I think um, you know first year guys it's difficult because you know they're trying to they've gone through the whole process it's been quite an eight months moving agents endorsements contracts summer league they just really been on the run so it's easier to get into a into a guy in his second summer um, and so guys, guys have worked hard guys are guys have started coming here now this last week I asked the young guys to come in um, and so you can't just drill 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 well, they won't come back because they don't have to be here and so uh, all the guys were in there I think you know Justin Jackson just looks really solid and, and mature for even though he's going to be a rookie and um, you know Papianis and, and Bogdan are overseas playing um, you know De'Aaron has stuff that just makes you shake your head you know and so we try to play some pickup ball some days and, and uh, after drilling and some days it's just drilling but try to give those guys a head start hey this is how we play these are the things we're looking at this is the terminology and so starting to roll